All right, that was my family size of our chocolate chip cookie dough that I just cut into 12 pieces. Now that we have those cut up, I'm bringing in my greased silicone little muffin tin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be placing those cookies into our little muffin tin, just like so, for this delicious and easy little fall time treat. So I'm just gently placing those into our little muffin tins. So we'll get all of those placed in there. All right, we're popping our last chocolate chip cookie into our muffin tin before we place this into the oven for about 10, 15 minutes at 350. Okay, our cookies were in the oven for about 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do next, I have just a shot glass that I put some Pam on and we are gonna come right down here, go to the center of those cookies while they are still really, really hot and create a little well into our cookies with that shot glass just like so and we are just going very gently and the great thing about that is as long as you pam the shot glass you won't bring up any of that cookie so we're just going in and making sure that those are all created all right now that we have those all beautifully kind of welled out we're just going to place these onto our stove top and let them cool all right, while our cookies are cooling, I'm grabbing a medium mixing bowl and we are going to be coming in with one of my favorite ingredients to use for the fall is this easy pumpkin pie mix. I used half of this can for another recipe. So I'm just going in with half of our 30 ounce can into our medium mixing bowl. Along with that, instead of evaporated milk, I thought I would give this sweetened condensed milk a try because I want a nice thick, consistency. So I'm going to go in with that entire can right into our pumpkin pie mix. And we're just going to give that a nice stir. I mean, look at how gorgeous that color is. I love the smell of this easy pumpkin pie mix. It's going to be a great addition to our recipe. So we're just making sure we get all of that incorporated just like so. All right. Now that we have our pumpkin and our condensed milk perfectly combined we are bringing back in i'm gonna move that off to the side and we're bringing back in our chocolate chip cookies with our little wells and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab that mixture and of course our ice cream scoop i'm going to take a small amount of that pumpkin mixture and go right into the center of our chocolate chip cookies i love combining pumpkin with chocolate or like a sugar cookie I mean, the possibilities for this are endless, and this is just one of my favorite little fall kind of treats. They're gonna be a great addition for the dessert table. I mean, look at how delicious those already look. Pumpkin and chocolate chip, you really cannot go wrong. So we'll go ahead and get these all nice and filled up, not too, too much, but right into that well, just like so. All right, and we have our last one. Just going right in there, just like so. Move that off to the side. I'll use that for a remainder of another recipe. And we are going to pop these into our fridge for about one to two hours. Oh my goodness. These look so tasty. I just pulled them out of the fridge and they are perfectly like solid, but have still a little bit of like texture to them, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to start and I'm going to bring in my little plate here. And the great thing about these is because they're in the silicone molds, they will just come right on out. And I mean, look at how darling our little chocolate chip pumpkin little bites are. Oh, they are so cute, perfect for fall. And anybody who loves pumpkin and chocolate, these are going to be amazing. So let's get these kind of plated up nicely because we are not done yet. We put like six on them for now and I'll save the rest. I think that looks pretty good. All right, now that we have those beautifully plated up, I found this at Target and I knew I just had to include this in the recipe. It's a pumpkin spice whipped cream. So I'm just gonna go right on top with a little bit of whipped cream. They look like little mini pumpkin pies. They're so cute. They're gonna be super tasty. And I mean, they're just fun to make too. And then of course, with these like little mini you know, cute little desserts. I have just some mini semi-sweet morsels. I'm gonna pop a couple of those right into my hand and we're gonna go right on top. I mean, look at how darling those are. Just, you know, to kind of tie in with our chocolate chip cookie. You could totally do this with a sugar cookie, an oatmeal cookie, or even like a biscuit. But I think that is exactly what we were looking for. I almost wanna just cut one of these open right now. So I have just a knife 
Let's see if we can cut one of these open so we can kind of see oh, the inside and what that looks like. Oh, so good and delicious. All right, let's give this a try. I cannot wait any longer. Oh, chocolate chip, pumpkin, pumpkin spice whipped cream. Mm, delicious. Enjoy. Mmm. Really, really good.